Yes, of uh, the National Elections Commission. As you are aware, the uh, preliminary results of uh, the just ended election is ongoing. This is the three of the preliminary results, and we have witnessed the visitation of former 102 uh, Conan Abraham Kroman. Chief, we want to say welcome to KMTV. And you care to tell us about your visit here today? Thank you very much. Uh, pleasing pleasure to be here. Uh, no, well, this is the National Election Commission. Uh, Basically, we just want to observe the system, the process, let me put it that way. Um, it's a very tedious one. And if you're not patient, you're not uh, go through this thing with a super simple mind. But this is, what, this is what our constitution and our country laws call for. So we have to come and endure it. Um, if you've already seen the Tyler people from your rural war rooms, you come here, you feel a little sluggish. but. That's what the system is. Um, and I, I think let, it, let the system work, let the process work. Um, and I, I just um, got a little bit of concern about people who beating the war drums and the, the violent drums. And I, I don't like that because um, I spent all my life trying to work for law and order. And when I see people giving scare tactics, it kind of bothers me to, to, to a larger extent. Uh, but be that as it may, we will uh, uh, sound the caveat to our people that um, you nobody got access to any violence here. Uh, this process will go. If you win, you win. If you lose, you go back home and start, you start the process all the way. You sat for a while. You witnessed the process. So far, what you observe? Um, the process is going on. It's just that, uh, like I said, it's a little slow for my comfort. but. That's what it's, that's what the system calls for. But I, you know, you you've been to a couple, of, and then you sit here. You, you have to endure the the, the the process, and, and that's what I try to look at. But and again, um, I just I'm just fed up with all the rumors around. I think it's just scare tactics, and, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come and see and see the numbers from the National Election Commission uh, to see exactly what it is, and just to let our people know that. The process will, will be allowed to work out, and people should not be jumping up and down with uh, uh, war, war and stuff like that. People from the other side, the opposition, uh, are talking about going back to the dark days. If uh, results from the NEC are not favorable in the interest of the Liberian people, and according to them, they don't have trust in the justice system of the country. What's your take on it? Who from where? People from where? The other side. I'm talking about opposition community. The legs of our Honorable Yeke Koluba. Um, no, I, I never heard that, but uh, I don't want you to draw me into the political situation. I am not uh, involved in that. I'm trying to understand. I know uh, no, no side. Uh, when the election is conducted, to wait for the NEC. And besides the NEC process, we have the Tyler people, Tyler sheets, uh, which is unofficial okay. uh, people to hang on that. Most of the most of the people have already extended their congratulatory messages to their opponent. That is, the, those 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 congratulations came from the Tyler sheet, from the ground. So people hang on those things and make some pronunciation. And so I think, uh, but uh, what I'm saying, people should be allowed to allow the process to go. On. And so finally, uh, I mean, prior to the elections, there were some, I mean, violence across the country. I can reference maybe three. One was in Nimba. There was a death pronounced in Nimba, or announced in Nimba. In Lofa County, two deaths uh, reported. Uh, a day to the elections, I think that um, one death reported in Monserrado County. Now we're going through the process. You once served as deputy for operations, and you still, <laughs> you still been. I know noted for that because you are still a you know, law enforcement officer in your own capacity. Uh, you early on spoke of people being war drum. Uh, after election, uh, the post election era is what you call in, it's a time we should maintain the peace. Yes. Final left to leave, leave of you. What have you to say to the direction? Well, like I said, uh, people should not go around uh, uh, beating the war drum and scare tactics. I, I don't like scare tactics because, you know, my dad used to tell me that the best power that anyone has is the power you have not use. Mm. I don't want people jumping over when they do have power, you keep your power. Okay. And, and you think you, you can't scare, nobody scare anybody anymore in Liberia. Okay. Right? So uh, I think that people should be allowed to, uh, this process should be allowed to go. 
uh, what happened during the, the, the campaign process, the campaign season, I think it was unfortunate that people will have to die just for expressing political, political uh, views. Um, I saw what happened in, on the on the Japanese freeway. Mm -hmm. That was unnecessary, uh, but uh, but people uh, he has been spoken to. You know, so I, at this point in time, we're trying to heal that, and um, with a strong conviction that this process is going to be voluntary. Um, and people must allow the process to go. But also, next should be cautioned that they they are holding this process now. You have to do due diligence. You have to have a, a process of finality uh, mm -hmm. that would be in the interest of justice and fairness. Your final message to like young people as we go through this process. I thought of the final message. Well, the final message <laughs> is for people to understand that Liberia remains what it is. We are at the pivotal, pivotal point, a very crucial point in our life, in our history. Um, this is the first election after Madame Sally, uh, and I think we conducted that, and I stay proud to say that we conducted uh, a very incredible election. And I think the National Election Com Commission, the, uh, the owner is on them to actually provide us a credible election. If they can't do that, then they are the ones to be blamed. So we are with a strong conviction that uh, this process is going to be credible and people will follow. Uh, the will and pleasure of the world, the will of the people. <laughs> Our people deserve to be very free and fair election. So that's what we are hoping to see at the end of this process. Thank you, so, Thank you so much. much. It is Honorable Conan Abraham Kroman from 102 Liberia National Police. And my name is Amos Thomas Modeski on TV. Bye bye.